July 6th, 1998. The okay. biggest nitro of all time Pulse. ever in the history of ever. How old were you in 1998? I was five years old. I think I was five years old here, too. Tony yeah, me was too. I think 15. I was five years old. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, a young man at this point. <laughs> A uh, uh, young, sprung, 17 years old. Showing up with a damn Budweiser <laughs> to watch his favorite wrestling. I was wrestling. 11, okay? 11, okay. 11. 1100. Yeah, months. that's still pretty crazy. <laughs> yes, July 6, 1998, Georgia Dome in Atlanta, Georgia. The attendance was 41,412 for this stacked main event of Goldberg versus Hollywood Hogan. The WCW World Heavyweight Championship, Goldberg's hometown ski, and uh, everyone was fired the fuck up about Goldberg. So just so you know, they uh, that was the largest WCW crowd ever. Even they say even next to pay per views. This is a holds the record for the largest wow. WCW crowd. Uh, they had thirty thousand tickets before they announced the main event. Does that include the Japan Super Shows they did? Probably. I doubt it. Probably does. I doubt it. Yeah, I well, bet it who does, are you? Dude. Plus, yeah. also, plus, also during the show, they said there's 39,000 people here, and then they said, "Wait a minute, there's 2,000 more." <laughs> <laughs> they missed a couple. A couple came in after intermission. They had 40,000 the fans here. 38,000 were free. They had, <laughs> hey, they, we they had like 2,000 show up from the Nitro Party. <laughs> yeah, true. What Who's was that the, dude's name that was at the is, Nitro Party? Ricky Rackman? Ricky Rackman? Ricky Rackman. Him and all his boys showed up. With their red solo cups. Oh, hell yeah. We forgot to count the entire roster, which includes 10,000. <laughs> <laughs> the entire NWO. <laughs> this rating, th so this show did a 4.8 rating, which is pretty good, I'd say. I mean, That's pretty good, but it's also crazy because, like, for 40,000 people, yeah, and, and, and like honestly, when you look at this this whole venue when they open the show and everything, it's honestly yeah. surreal. There's so many people mm -hmm. here on a weekly oh, episode of Nitro. It's nuts. Yeah. yeah, I mean you got. I mean it's just math polls. You know, if all those forty thousand people stayed home, this would have been a six point seven rating. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. The math adds up. What was Raw? That's, what was Raw doing? What do they have on their Raw's ratings? Raw's rating was a four, even four. Um, I can. I can tell you what they did on that show, too. Yeah, it was you a run, it barn, down, run it down. Barn burner of an episode. July 6th, 1998 edition of Raw. Uh, started with Savio Vega defeating Bracus in the round oh, three shit. of the Brawl for All. Oh, <laughs> oh my shit. God. No. Yes. We are in the middle of the Brawl for All here. Um, Ken Shamrock defeated Jeff Jarrett by DQ in four minutes and 21 seconds. Hmm. Uh, Bradshaw versus Vader. Ended in a no contest in two minutes. <laughs> Why? He How did they do I, that to Vader? I imagine bro? it was probably some kind of fuck fetish. They probably just started shooting on each other, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, I hope that's what happened. <laughs> the Disciples of Apocalypse, Eight Ball and Skull, defeated the Headbangers of Mosh and Thrasher in three minutes and 44 seconds, uh, which sounds horrible. <laughs> <laughs> which just sounds downright awful. Yeah. D'Lo Brown with The Godfather defeated Terry Funk in three minutes and 48 seconds. Which sounds great. The funk? <laughs> I would love to see that. Uh, Darren Drozdoff versus Road Warrior Hawk ended in a draw round three in the Brawl for All. <laughs> well, good. What? Yes. Val Venus defeated Dustin Runnels by DQ in two minutes and 40 seconds. Ken Shamrock defeated Mabel in two minutes and nine seconds. How did and he beat Mabel? I don't know. He also wrestled Jeff Jarrett earlier. So I don't Tell know me right here. here. And The Undertaker defeated Mankind in a WWF World Heavyweight Title number one contendership match in two minutes and 17 seconds. So no match on this show went two over five minutes. minutes. No match on this show what? went over five minutes. Undertaker and Mankind in two minutes? 217, yes. What, what the, the hell did they do on this show that took up a whole hour and a half that these matches weren't going on? Promos and probably oh, driving around brother. backstage. Yeah, yeah. Geez. I mean, this was. Russo era shit. So I'm surprised. To be honest with you, I'm surprised they got a four. <laughs> yeah, thought... especially with with how hyped up this Goldberg Hogan match is. Yeah, I yeah, agree. That's pretty crazy, actually. Yeah, but I mean, this is.
quite the episode of Nitro, too. Uh, <laughs> the show starts with them recapping from Thunder, which I feel like happens every time I fucking turn on an episode of Nitro, is them starting the show with a seven-minute recap of something else. Every um, Nitro is, J.J. Dillon said this on Thunder. <laughs> every oh, single a- Nitro. At least yeah. they didn't play the entire, like, whole eight-minute segment God, <laughs> where Ric Flair in the water bottle. I was I don't dreading Art Anderson <laughs> showing up. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, J.J. Dillon makes it official. It is going to be Goldberg and Hogan on this episode of Nitro. Uh, and then we get to the Nitro girls, baby. These girls are all over the show. Do you th- I don't. They surely couldn't have been getting paid enough to do this bullshit. They were going crazy mean? at one point in the show. At one point, they, like, zoomed in on, like, Tony Schiavone, and then they was like, yeah, they the girls are here. <laughs> no, the Nitro girls are like pole dancing at one point, right? In yeah, yeah they're right they're fired up, bro. Oh, oh yeah, crazy. that's right. They were getting at it, and Mike Tanay was being a little pervert, I saw. <laughs> yeah, <he's> a professor. <laughs> yeah, dude, so the Georgia it. Dome here, though, when they open the show, is packed as dude, shit. It's, it's loud. The amount Everyone's of signs, going nuts, dude. The amount of signs and like the sea of people is in fucking sane, and not one of them were wearing a mask. <laughs> Some fucking yeah, something bullshit, right honestly. Here. Yeah, I don't like this. Up. I forgot. You didn't even mention, Johnny. What? You didn't mention the famous line. Uh-oh. This is the biggest night in the history of our sport. That's, dude, every single match, I feel like they said that, and then they talked about Goldberg. <laughs> every fucking match. Well, it's unprecedented that someone comes into this it's business true. and dominates also, on this level. That's. I mean, he was, what, 107 he was seven, whatever seven, number seven. they wanted that week. Yeah, that was, uh, whatever it was, there was a zero at the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good line. That was it. actually it was, really good. Yeah, it was good. Um, also, I want to point out that the spinny fireworks that Nitro used on oh, that stage is my favorite. Oh, shit. I, I have written down spinny pyro rules. That's Dude, that's my favorite pyro. <laughs> and this it, is, it, one is that of, the one that made the uh, noise? I don't know if it made noise. There was it just, no it was noise. Like, it was just like it went in circles, pretty much. I always remember sh- for some reason the the WCW intro being the spinny pyro and going. Aah! I don't know why I remember that so much. Maybe there was just too. It was too many people here being too loud. And yeah, that's why you couldn't hear it. There, Goldberg, the whole <laughs> <Yeah>. show. <laughs> this is I'll- one of three show pyros, by the way. Oh uh, God, yeah. There's so many fucking pyro displays on this show. <laughs> for like the a- show, not wrestlers, just for the show yes. itself. So we can so- continue. Out come the NWO and Hollywood Hogan. Hogan looking just disgusting. Just the worst ever. <laughs> he looks horrible. And here comes the disciple looking like a fucking weirdo, too. God, he is. I always love the misfits of the NWO, like the weird ones. Mis- yeah, like, disciple, the the Horace, disciple doing? you know, yeah. those kind of guys. Kimberly my- Page was out here, too. Uh, Bischoff talks some shit. He like it's pretty, honestly this whole segment sucked. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck they even talked about. They just they're just saying there's another town that Hogan is you know God in, and then Hogan just sh- doesn't shut the fuck up. For Hogan like, comes out, you know, I'm part of the dude. I flew down, <laughs> flew in the Lear my, Jet, my, the NWO Hollywood Jet yeah. brother dude in Atlanta. NWO White dude, look at these NWO dudes. <laughs> <laughs> He would not stop trying to get NWOites over, man. It's it never ever. Co- Have you ever heard somebody call themselves an NWOite? No. <laughs> I mean, I'm still calling myself an NWOite. No. Oh, that. <laughs> that is wearing an NWOite shirt. <laughs> on Can- Dude, Canaanite NWO-ite. was more over than NWO. Well, the Canaanites Canaanite. went crazy. <laughs> Canaanites. <laughs> Hogan says, this match is going to happen, dude. Even though J.J. Dillon just <laughs> fucking said the match is going to happen, but I guess Hogan gets to not decide it. He's got creative uh, control. you know. H.H. Yeah. Dillon. <laughs> 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 he said he's going to give Goldberg a chance still, though. If he really wants this match, he's going to give him a chance. He said, I'm bringing an N.W.O. brother, dude. An <laughs> N.W.O. brother, brother, brother. He says brother, N.W.O. brother 17 times, and he's going to give Goldberg his first loss here tonight. And I wrote, please stop talking. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Shut up. Hogan does yeah. say something funny. He says, there's two Goldberg fans out there with speakerphones. And that's how <laughs> it sounds like there's a lot of people. Yeah, that's that's pretty brilliant. That's a good idea, Goldberg. And he I mean, says, he says uh, he's got a couple things he wants to say about Hogan. He, or uh, Goldberg, he says, number one. <laughs> Goldberg <laughs> is, uh, he beat a bunch of jabronis at best. Is what yeah. He said. So at that was best, funny. he said. At yeah. best. <laughs> It was a bunch of jabronis. So yeah, he's he, Goldberg has to face an NWO brother, dude. If he <laughs> I got to... a brother coming in a few minutes, brother, brother, brother. You gotta get this guy out of the way, brother, he brother, brother. Stop, dude. He just wouldn't fucking let it go. Uh, and then yeah, then he leaves and he plays the guitar on his belt. 
<laughs> cool. The other um, brother from the NWO will embarrass Goldberg. Then they interview some fans about Hogan and Goldberg, and everyone just fucking loves Goldberg. They say, oh, yeah, you know what? Goldberg's gonna whoop his ass. <laughs> cool. Everyone's just fired up. <laughs> this ain't 1985 Hulk Hogan. This is 1997. <laughs> Goldberg's gonna whoop that ass. Woo! Let's go! <laughs> That's what he said. Oh, also... They're giving away a NASCAR. <laughs> it's just a whole car. Dude, they're giving away a whole car. I was like, damn, this is just all wheels wrestling. No, <laughs> you, you know what this shit is? Brian Murphy won this we'll, NASCAR. We'll get, we'll, he's clo- that's coming up after this because I don't oh, want to okay. skip ahead of what came right after this interviewing thing. Because I swear, I almost had a PTSD and put myself through my screen. <laughs> because right after this... The following announcement has been paid for <laughs> by the New World Order. I almost lost my mind, but thankfully, it was just Hogan advertising a Hulk Hogan t-shirt that has Hulk Hogan on it with his titties out. Thank uh, you so much, Hulk, sir. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, that was it. But then, Mean Gene Okerlund interviews uh, the winner of the WCW NASCAR. And Mean Gene's asking him, oh, you, 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 you know, you, you've, been, uh, you've been driving this thing? You've been driving this thing? He's like... Uh, well, yeah, I am. And, and he's just like, oh, well, is a, is a, you know, is a patrol pulled you over? Yeah, you know, is the patrol said anything about it? He's like, no. <laughs> what Mean Gene meant to say was, is this street legal? And he says, yeah, pretty much. probably yeah, not. <laughs> mean, mean Gene should have stole it. That, I, dude, uh, I truly would believe that Mean Gene would steal it. I agree. I, I also crazy. wrote at the end of this, fu- I wrote... Just mean Gene, mean Gene interviewing uh, the winner of this, and I wrote "fuck you, Brian Murphy." After this. <laughs> <Dig> <laughs> that's how I felt. They about kill this though this because segment. they're like, "Yeah, you can win this car, but you probably can't drive it on the street, so I'm just gonna sit there and yeah. that's it and have this car." Did mean I ever Gene tell you guys about the Bob Holly story with the NASCAR thing? You guys have probably Which heard story? it before. What the story the is one this? where he told Vince, he's like, "We should get a NASCAR. We should, you know, this is a really yeah. big thing right now." And then Vince is like, <laughs> "Yeah, we'll get you the whole car. We'll get you the whole thing." So they got like a whole WWF car and everything. And then Vince is like, "Yeah, <laughs> fuck it. I don't really care about NASCAR." <laughs> 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 and he said, "Bob Holly said, damn, what the, he's like, well, you go trash He's like, "Yeah, he's like, what if I sold it to you for a dollar?" And Bob Holly said, "Okay, bro, that's crazy. I just saw on our subreddit that Bob Holly was watching anime. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Holly is an anime night. <laughs> What's going on?" <laughs> <laughs> no, not anime night. <laughs> Fuck off. And then we move on to a television championship match. It's Dean Malenko, the Iceman. Dun, dun, dun. Taking on Black Snow. <laughs> yeah, Black Snow. <laughs> Booker T is over here, dude. He's Everybody over, was raising the roof, dude. Yeah. Dude, everyone, yeah. Could. I didn't realize raising the roof was that over, but they were all about it. Um, This was a fun little match. Not much to it. It, it was cool. Uh... Booker T killed Malenko. Malenko jumped off like the top rope and he got killed with a spine buster. Uh, and then he did a spin a Rooney. Because <laughs> 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 you do. Uh, they both went to the floor and Jericho comes out. Jericho's cutting a promo, just trying to talk shit about Dean Malenko and distracts Dean Malenko as Malenko's getting back into the ring. Scissor kick, uh, which looked kind of cool. I was like, that's that's cool. Dude, I, Booker's I don't know moveset is incredible. Also. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. I mean, he had a bunch um, of shit that only he did. So that was pretty cool. Yeah. And he's like, I guess I always forget how fucking big Booker T is because Dean Malenko looked like a little man here. <laughs> yeah, he's tiny. Yeah. I mean, TNA um, Booker was like a giant. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah. So was Black Snow. <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Booker T gets the win here, uh, retaining the TV title and continuing to uh, push the Malenko fucking Jericho thing, which is I get, I think Bash at the Beach is right after this. Yeah, that's like yes. the next pay per view. It's like yeah. the Sunday, I think. So to hype up the main event, we have Goldberg doing push ups on three chairs. <laughs> cool. <laughs> that's just he's just doing push ups. That's pretty cool. Uh, Carl Malone cuts a promo on Dennis Rodman, hyping up their Bash at the Beach tag match. Carl Malone's a bitch. So <laughs> that's, yeah, that's, he, he's too nice. He's just like yeah, the yeah. nicest guy ever. Yeah, like. yeah, oh yeah, I heard. <laughs> 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 and then we have uh, Canyon, who is uh, recently taken off the mask. No longer Mortis. He was trying to join the flock, uh, and then Raven fucked him up. <laughs> Sorry, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> he said, fuck you. Canyon was not flock material. He was not. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, Canyon versus Raven with Lodi, who is holding the sign. Lodi so looks crazy. Did. Yeah, Lodi's he, I, always crazy. Does Lodi ever do anything like other than this? Sign guy Lodi. Him and yeah. Lenny Lane. Lenny Lane and Lodi, remember them? 
Yeah, they. So he didn't do anything other than this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. So that's it. <laughs> Uh, the, oh, God, I hate watching this on the network because of the fucking dub music. Go, God go, damn it, go, Raven, go, 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 Raven go. did not come out to go, 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 go. Yeah, and Chris Joker oh. came out to break the walls down. All the way down. <laughs> That's yeah. how I remember. Both. He always had that song. Always, from I day one. I must have missed that. Jimmy Hart must have made that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, part. you missed all that, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Chris Jericho had it too. Go, go, go. That was just, a, he was in the flock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, I like this match actually. This is, if it wasn't for uh, the psychosis match later on, I might have. This might be my favorite match of the show. Um, I mean, I guess if you ask Al Snow, it wouldn't have been the biggest, the best match of the show. <laughs> yeah. <it> the draw. <laughs> Raven, <laughs> by the way, uh, incredibly handsome here. By the way, just oh my, oh my dude. god, he is a part. He is the pure aesthetic. This fucking guy. It's yeah. just This dude was fucking on the regular. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> This man had all. It was lot Ravens of rules all the time. If you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I love Ravens rules for real, though. <laughs> yeah, me yeah. too. That was pretty. Yeah, was, dude, that gimmick is great. Raven said, "I won't wrestle unless I could wrestle under my own rules," and they said, "Okay." <laughs> yeah, everybody was fine with it. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah and, every, and all the wrestlers participated as well. All right, yeah, they were cool. Man. Uh, Canyon did like a back fucking suplex to Raven over the top rope, which was crazy. He that all, was Canyon nuts. Oh, yeah. That was like, I thought they died on And that was the beginning of the match. Yep, they locked up and then <laughs> both went out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Canyon also took, uh, I, I don't know, did he do the flapjack? Or it was a flapjack onto a chair. I think Canyon did it, uh, which was fucking crazy too. Um, they got a lot of mileage out of that one chair. Yeah, yeah, they did. Yeah, they didn't even do the one. I, I don't think he did the drop to hold spot, which I, you know, it's Raven. <laughs> yeah, it's the um, number one. <laughs> that's the thing he does. Uh, Canyon went to the top rope and was gonna kill somebody, uh, and Lodi crotched him on the top rope, and then Canyon takes a fucking suplex onto the chair. Yep. What the hell? Just on a nitro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, uh, okay, cool, and then here comes. Recently left the flock member Perry Saturn in jean shorts. Here I he love comes. Perry Saturn so much, dude. He's fucking sick. He's doing a be- he belly to bellies loady onto a chair. Then he says, "You know what? Fuck it!" And he hits a Death Valley drive run again. <laughs> <laughs> dude, his Death Valley is so good. Oh my, it's, it's, it's crazy, nasty, dude. Perry not Spicoli I- Saturn. <laughs> How dare you? Do not do, do not take this away from the man that invented that move, Tommy Dreamer. Yeah, yeah Tommy Spigoli Dreamer. <laughs> the only person I think I've seen do the Death Valley like that was Danny Havoc. Danny Havoc would hook people pretty good for it too. But Barry Saturns was that's how the move's supposed to be. I don't know. I guess yeah. like it got. I just just changed the bump is rough. Well, Honestly, it's a rough bump. Yeah, it, it, it's sure. like a sheer drop every time. Like if you actually do it right, you basically just get dropped on your neck. <laughs> so, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so it people change it, it up, it I guess. Gross. I mean, well, Dreamer invented it, and then they changed it up along the way. Yeah, I think that's probably not, absolutely not what happened, but yes. <laughs> oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay, yeah. well, I will continue on that. <laughs> yeah, <there>. actually, <laughs> no. I don't want to argue with you. I don't you know, whatever. <laughs> actually. <laughs> um, was this a DQ or a no contest? Dude, uh, how do you think Ravens finishes rules? mattered in, in WCW? They it's don't... Raven's rules. I just need to know how Raven's rules <laughs> What happened was is that... Uh, he came into the ring and then they cut away from the match and never talked about it again. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> That's so exactly. Came out and hit moves on everyone, so it was ruled a no yeah. contest, I think. Oh, also, I forgot this fucking table spot. Oh, fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. Saturn pulls out a fucking Japanese table from underneath legit, the ring, like Japanese. Like I was like, at first table. I was like, okay, that's just like a weird table, but this, this must have just been I don't know what the fuck. He fucking puts Raven on this table and does a splash off the top rope to the floor onto this table, and it does not break. <laughs> he just they we're gonna have tables like that, right? It. Huh? We're gonna have tables like that in DPW. Oh right? my god, yes, absolutely. I don't want any tables breaking because no then we have to buy tables. new ones. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We could just reuse the same table if it doesn't break. Exactly. Yeah, I love it. Easy. Easy money. Um, shout out to easy money. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, also, Canyon hit the flatliner on Saturn after, and they, no one cared. And they Nobody cared, away. and then they never <laughs> mentioned this ever again. Yeah. It's because it was so weird, because everyone was in everyone with moves, and nobody knew whose side anyone was on, and then it just cut away. Yeah, I I feel like Saturn wasn't supposed to kick Canyon's ass, but maybe he was. Maybe it was a three-way or something. I think at the Canyon and Saturn had... a match or like a tag team thing or something i don't know what's going on well, supposed I, to be like... you would think so <laughs> but it didn't feel like well that back to the beach was uh 
Raven and Saturn? Yeah, so, and Canyon Canyon's not involved in that. I don't think he's involved in it. <laughs> I don't think so either. Yeah. Well, whatever. Lodi had a sign that said, where is Viagra Falls? <laughs> That's a great, <laughs> great question. <laughs> where is that? So we cut, and Limo arrives, baby. Is this the Who? brother? Is this the, br- the NWA, no. NWA Sa- brother? Oh, is this the... Oh, dude, is that my dude? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's one of the brothers. <laughs> <laughs> There's too it's many brothers Judy in Judy Bagwell. There. Too many brothers. <laughs> Too many brothers. <laughs> Too little time. J- Judy Bagwell is here, and I wonder who Judy Bagwell's with. Could oh, be anybody. That's Buff Bagwell. Marcus the, Bagwell. This was the introduction of Judy Bagwell. The first time I think we ever saw is her. It? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I think so. Why else would she be around? <laughs> what was? Uh, what did? What, what happened I, to Buff? Uh, he. I don't know. Was it, this because Mean the... Gene later on says, "You could have died, bro." <laughs> I'm like, damn! What happened? Apparently, I think it's Steiner a, fucked him up or something. Oh, it's um, I'm trying to remember. I think what it's happened. him. I think it's Steiner. It's like him and Rick Steiner fuck him up, don't they? Yeah, I think it. Like they, he said he or something like died and happened. came back to life or something. Like, damn, this clip. Oh, okay. So Rick Steiner, you know the bulldog that Rick Steiner does? Like yeah. he jumps off the second and pulls you oh, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, I'm pretty sure he broke Buff Bagwell's neck doing Holy that. Holy crap! Yeah, so. That was pretty fucking brutal. Uh, yeah. yeah, that was the same year too. So yeah, so was Buff uh, in, in the black and white or was he in the Wolfpack? He was black and white because Steiner helps him win that match that he gets injured in. So basically, what happened was he went for the bulldog, but like his head slipped out of the bulldog and then hit uh, the back, his back, like his head hit his back and then oh, his like neck jammed his neck yeah. up. He pretty much j- yeah, he jammed his shit up pretty good. Yeah, and then Steiner like. Fucking hits Rick Steiner and pulls Buff on top of him <laughs> to get wow. the win. The uh, it's it's great here yeah. because Buff comes up in the wheelchair, and <laughs> he's in the NWO still, which is the mortal enemy of WCW. And yes. Tony Schiavone goes, "Man, it is good to see Buff Bagwell back here in <laughs> WCW." And he goes, "Wait a minute, he's in the NWO, you piece of trash." <laughs> <laughs> this is Buff's hometown too. Yeah. Oh, is it? Okay, that makes sense then. Mm. Uh. They interview more fans about Hogan and Goldberg. Some guy is this pretty much <laughs> ripping this fucking dude's head while he's doing it, making him say yes. <laughs> so that was weird. Uh, they show the Nitro Girls dancing. They're getting at it. Shout out to the Nitro Girls. Shout out to whatever the fuck your names are. Kimberly Page. <laughs> sure you had cool names. Kimberly <laughs> Page was not a Nitro Girl. <laughs> well, <that's, laughs> I don't think... she was on Nitro and a girl. Oh, Charmel was there. What's her WCW name? Charmel. Was <laughs> <laughs> all righty. Shawn Michaels' wife is probably there too. What was her WCW name? Charmel. <laughs> oh, I see. Uh, then they show the Nitro Party shit because you got to do that. Woo! And then we get a uh, Hogan and Rodman and versus Karl Malone and DDP hype video coming up for Bash at the Beach. Uh, Hogan had a fucking sock on his head. <laughs> I, don't <know. laughs> I don't know what this is about. I don't. He had know. it the whole night. <laughs> yeah, like. It's, it's like a bandana, but it's not. I think it's, it's like uh, not a ba- I, I listen. I'm a have bandana you ever cut a t-shirt, expert, Tony. Like, have you, <laughs> have you ever cut a t-shirt sleeve off and put yeah, it on uh, your head? No, because that's kind of what it was. Have you done that all the time, dude? <laughs> Why would you, you do that? <laughs> because it's like a bandana, but it's well, not. Myself, I, I give myself a tourniquet, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it's because Hulk Hogan, and I'd be just like him. Oh, uh, shit, I hope not. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Anyway, uh, fucking Carl Malone, they show him uh, clotheslining and body slamming Hogan in this, and DDP gets on the mic and says, Hogan, you have been slam dog, punk. Oh, <laughs> my God. That's almost as good as that Stone Cold line at one time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Super feces. <laughs> <laughs> and then that little, that little smile. Yeah. God. Yeah, I said that's right. <laughs> yeah. Um. And then they do a, they go to a Mean Gene interview in the ring with DDP and Carl Malone. Uh, mean Gene. So they're standing in the ring. DDP's in front of Mean Gene, and Carl Malone's like standing behind him. And Carl Malone puts his arm on Mean Gene, and Mean Gene gives him this the dirtiest <laughs> look. <laughs> I've ever seen. He like looks at him as if he wants to beat the bricks off of Carmelo. <laughs> so they're just talking about you know Rodman. Uh, Carmelo calls himself the Rodzilla Killer. <laughs> no, that's that, that, that was stuff. that was that was yeah. so forced though because he's like yeah he's because oh, Malone goes I'm gonna be a killer and then Rod and then uh, 
DDP's like, you mean uh, Rodzilla Killer? Uh, and he's like, hell yeah. Let's he's a hell out. yeah. That's right. <laughs> hell yeah. I'm going to be a Rodzilla he's, Killer. Carl Malone says, Rodzilla, I'm going to whip you like Madonna should have whipped you. <laughs> oh, what a <laughs> reference, dude. Mean Gene says, whoa. That's <laughs> definitely 1998 reference. Whoa, now, whoa. <laughs> he said, I'm going to knock the paint right out of your hair, boy. I was like, oh, shit. Okay, yeah, that's true. Carl Malone's on fire. He's also a bitch. Yeah. DDP and Malone <laughs> <laughs> go through yeah. the crowd <laughs> and they leave through the crowd and no one's got masks on still it's fucked up what yeah. the? no one cares What's about anybody in 1998 <laughs> you know but th- James do you know who they did care about though who Steve Mongo McMichael oh who's up next hell yeah Mongo pretty much this I mean if I had to describe this in one line it's Mongo cuts a promo on the elite <laughs> <laughs> that's all he kept talking about was the fucking elite him talking about the horsemen talking about uh he, he's looking like away from the camera there but it never cuts the shot that he's staring at so it's just weird <laughs> i like his mom go blind <laughs> I don't it's know like if angles. i do this podcast like this all yeah, time, yeah. just sitting looking at the wall well, no, yeah. it's weird it's weird because they he was like trying to put together sentences about football and wrestling together <laughs> yeah. but he couldn't figure out the words and they're like, hmm, maybe we should not redo this pre-tape. I was just like, yeah. okay. And then they said, here's Mike, the old coach of <laughs> the Bears. Ditka. I said, who the yeah. hell? Mike Ditka. Yeah. You know, Mike Ditka with Poland sausage. Ah, Mike Ditka, the Bears. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bears. You know, you know wrote, about the Bears? Mike I wrote Mike Ditka. Ditka. I wrote Mike Ditka, shut up. <laughs> nah, he said, oh my God, I love the manga. The, manga, baby, I love Watch the Bears skit with Chris Farley. It's the greatest Mike Ditka. Mike Ditka can go fuck himself. Do you Otis? A... <laughs> 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 yes. Speaking of people stuff. that they cared about in 1998, here comes Scotty Riggs with the eye patch, by the way, because Raven gave that to him. Shout out to Raven. Cool. Looking sexy. Uh, against Scott Putsky. Now that's a person. Son of Ivan Putsky. No, that's Ooh, a person. Okay. Scott Putsky, I looked it up. I was like, I don't know a fucking thing about Scott Putsky. I just know the name Putsky. Scott Putsky. Uh, that's the Polish uh, hammer. Seemingly has retired like three times. <laughs> <laughs> he does the Polish hammer. That's wrestling retires, though. He also wrestled as Conan 2000. That's his name? <laughs> That was his wrestling name. That's like with fucking a K? sweet. Co- yes, spelled the same way as Conan. That's Conan sweet. 2000. I don't know what that was about, so I would like to do that too. I want to be Raven 2000. <laughs> I'm down with that. I'm yeah. absolutely down with that. All right, cool, cool, cool. That's cool, dude. Oh, shit. Uh, this is just the fucking match. I don't really know why this happened. Shockingly, Scott Putsky gets the win here with the fucking sky high. I don't know why that happened. It's called the Putsky Bomb, okay? Of course it is. Yeah. Call, call it whatever you bomb. want. It's a Putsky bomb. Dude. <laughs> I did. Bomb. I do know that Scotty Riggs did go, blah, at one point during this match. <laughs> <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's a good guy right there. That's a good guy. Scott Putsky, you know, obviously, as, as Tony said, you know, Polish Hammer, this was his dad's known for. He, he does it here. He does the Polish Hammer, and then, like, it's it looks like he forgets what to do after that. He does it, and just uh, Riggs yeah. takes a bump, and he just stares around the world, like, what the fuck? Anything think uh, he's actually going to so, hit it. I guess, well, shockingly, I was just as surprised when he won the fucking match. <laughs> hey, man, this 40, is the biggest Nitro NWO of Nights. <laughs> no, not the NWO Nights. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, dude, Scott, if Scott Plisky joined the NWO, it would have died like three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about, Conan 2000? <laughs> <laughs> they already had Conan in the Wolfpack. <laughs> yeah, and then you got Conan 2000 in the black and the white. Oh that my ruled. god, it's like yeah, fake sting. <laughs> <laughs> We caught backstage and Goldberg headbutts a locker. <laughs> That's my guy. I don't give a fuck. Goldberg rules forever. <laughs> he headbutts a locker and then they show his first win against Hugh Morris. Uh, what a historic day that was. Yo, fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> he true and true. And that's pretty true. <laughs> and then another limo arrives. Is it Judy Bagwell? We get the second hour pyro. Oh, is there more that. pyro? Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Beep, 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 beep. I don't think there was spinny pyro, though. That's why I didn't write it down. No, it's different pyro, but second right. hour, they get pyro. I love it, dude. Fuck that. So good. When did, maybe, I don't know if either of you know this, when did Nitro start going three hours? Does anyone, do you, and either of you know that? Uh, from what Probably it seems like, Ra 1964. Was... Okay, well. When Raw was getting really good, they just said, we got to go an hour before Raw so we can. 
let's figure out when on. that was so we can only pick nitros from before that because <laughs> yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. three hour shows god Agreed. damn it indubiously <laughs> but yeah limo arrives and it's the nwo brother scott hall drinking very very much drinking very Dude, much he already is been shoot drinking. drunk he is shoot <laughs> drunk it's As a wild. brother he is, it's, the NWO is like greeting him. Bischoff's like, oh, it's great to see you. And Nash, like, Hall is just like not, he's not oh, there. Hall's he's like, hey, yo, Goldberg, <laughs> it's time to go to school. <laughs> it's time to party. Woo, let's go. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, you're good at that. That what? was pretty good, yeah. That yeah, was do, good. The, do the one where we met Scott Hall and he talked to Smalls. You're a jabroni. <laughs> hey, man, you're a jabroni, man. <laughs> Why'd he do that? <laughs> Oh, yeah, okay, so um, Alex was asking, like, interviewing people, and he interviewed Scott yeah. Hall. What was it C2E2? Or uh, uh, SummerSlam it was or one something? Of the 2K events. Yeah, 2K it was events, something like yeah. that. And Scott Hall was there, and <laughs> Alex went up and talked to him. And he started asking some questions, and he asked him a question, and then Scott Hall literally looked him up and down, and then looked back at him. And he goes, Man, you're a jabroni. <laughs> <laughs> Did he walk I think, away I, think I think he exactly said was like, yeah, this uh, this SummerSlam weekend is pretty sweet. Almost too sweet. And then Scott Hall just looked at him and was like, man, uh, you're a jabroni, man. Is there a video of this? Um, yeah, it's online yeah, it's somewhere. Oh my, what the fuck? Wow. He was okay. just fucking with leave? him. He still did the interview. No, he was just fucking uh, with him. I was going to say, did he leave after that? No, nah, he was just fucking with him. No, he was just Scott Hall messing with him. Yeah, but, that's uh, funny. Was it was like the coolest interview ever, probably. No, I, I think he was sober <laughs> at the time. <laughs> Don't know the answer. Well, he that. was definitely drunk here, Tony. Yes. <laughs> January, January 97, by the way, is when they that's, went three hours. All right, so that's when we'll, that's the cutoff. <laughs> yeah. Um. We cut back to the ring, and Chris Jericho is making his way to the ring. He gets in the ring. Break he grabs the a- wall stand. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's like my favorite WCW theme. It w- <laughs> no, I don't think it was. Oh, wait, no. My favorite WCW theme was, <laughs> caw, caw, caw. <laughs> Jericho grabs, he gets in the ring, he grabs the mic, and he says, hello. <laughs> he, he does. <laughs> it's like you, Johnny uploading a video for a stream. Hello. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, Jericho's talking some shit. J.J. Dillon comes out because J.J. Dillon's got to be in something, I guess. He's the authority figure. <laughs> so, uh, J.J. Dillon's out here saying, you know, you're being a real dickhead, Chris Jericho. Why are you being such a bitch? And he says, you know, you and Dean Malenko are going to have to face off for this title this weekend. Jericho was trying to say everyone else was a number one contender. Really, he was saying Rey Mysterio is number one contender. Apparently, he yeah. beat uh, midget Rey Mysterio on Thunder, or he the week beat up a tiny Rey Mysterio on Thunder. <laughs> and he said, J.J. Dillon said, you know, that was a small guy. And Jericho said, what? No, <laughs> that guy knows Rey Mysterio, <laughs> <laughs> which is tremendous. Uh, yeah, he says the title match with Dean is on for Sunday, and it will be no DQ. Which uh, brings out Dean Malenko. Dean Malenko comes out here, and they're having a stare down. And J.J. Dillon says, you know, if you, either of you, fight each other before the pay-per-view match, match is off. And Jericho's like, hmm, interesting. Well, does that mean if I, you know, is the match off if he hits me after I say that your mother wears army boots? (laughs) (laughs) What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> That's exactly what that means. <laughs> okay, fair enough. He says, huh? Well, what about if I say you're nothing but a talentless job? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, what about if I say that your dad must be real proud of you and he'd like to shake your hand if he was still alive? <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's shit. That's the best one. That was crazy. Dean Malenko just staring him down. And Jericho and, and fucking JJ Dillon's like, bro, you keep this up, man. There's no key on Sunday. He's gonna beat that bricks off you. <laughs> you know, you keep this up. Shut up, JJ says, Dillon. <laughs> yeah, fuck off, JJ. You with your glasses. <laughs> so Jericho's like, ah, okay. Well, you know, I mean, it's like I was talking about your dad. You know, me and you are pretty similar. Both our dads are you know sports athletes. Uh, we we grew up. Our dads were away most of the time. You know, that's just how we grew up. And your dad was away a lot. You know, I'm sure. You're, I'm sure you would have liked to have your dad around. I'm sure your dad was, uh, you know, had a lot of lonely, uh, lonely nights. And he was looking for some companionship on the road. And he said, 
Maybe that's why you and your brother look <laughs> not that alike. Oh, <laughs> shit. And then Dean Malenko, that's, that's what set off Dean Malenko. <laughs> Nothing else, not that his mom wears army boots. <laughs> that one would have set me off. I would have been going crazy. Nothing. He said, I look just like my brother. And he attacked Chris Jericho. <laughs> and they're fighting, and Dean Malenko pulls out Jericho's hair. Definitely his hair. Not Oh, absolutely. Fake. Yes. Shoot hair from Chris Jericho pulled out of his head. Uh... I don't know why they did that because they do something with hair in like the next match. <laughs> <laughs> so that was weird. So uh, you would think that the match is off, but I I don't think the match was off. <laughs> it was off. Match, it yeah. was off. They was didn't it? invite it the pay per view. Yeah. Whoa! They actually went through with that. I'm surprised. JJ Dillon, a man of his word. So this was off, and then he ended up fighting Rey Mysterio at the pay per view. In the no DQ uh, match, and then yes. Ray ended up winning. 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 Oh. Jericho, and yeah, then, Jericho with the cruiserweight title, bro. That cruiserweight title yeah. in WCW is so crazy. Oh it man, it's sick. awesome. Yeah. yeah, it's great. What, how? When does the Ciclope thing happen? It must be after I think, this. Then, I right? think Jericho yeah. gets uh, like Malenko <laughs> costs Jericho the title. I think against Ray. Okay. And then this Jericho goes on that conspiracy thing where he's like, they're yeah. against me. And then I think that's like after, like right after this stuff. <laughs> that's, that's not Ciclope. Ciclope. <laughs> <laughs> that's not Ciclope. I'm Ciclope. Ser- Serpentico. Who the hell is, is Serpentico? <laughs> oh, there is Circle Pay. <laughs> um, then we come back. Jericho taking on Ultimo Dragon. Uh, which okay, so go- is this not is this not the craziest fucking thing to read ever? They're yes. just like, yeah, this is a big angle for Jericho and Rey Mysterio and D Malenko, but also he's gonna face <laughs> Ultimo Dragon in a yeah, bullshit like- match for no reason. What the like- hell? Four of like the greatest wrestlers ever, just casually on this show. <laughs> in angles, yeah, they're, yeah, they're just yeah. there for like to push an angle in like four yeah. minutes. What? Yeah, it's that's very, crazy. Very weird. Especially with how long this match goes, which is not very long until Dean Malenko comes back out and fucking kicks Jericho's ass. And yeah. then they arrest Dean Malenko during the break. <laughs> <laughs> picture in picture. <laughs> they didn't have enough time to do it on this show. It actually said earlier they today. didn't have enough time in the three <laughs> hours. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And then I couldn't believe what I was seeing. <laughs> More Nitro Girls? No, well, I mean, there were Nitro girls, you're right, in different outfits, too. But cool. the man making the entrance next, Johnny Schwinger. What? <laughs> this dude's back again, dude. dude. Johnny, Johnny Schwinger. Schwinger. It's this swing time, guy, baby. I can't escape this guy. He's on Hardcore Justice, he's on Slammiversary, and he's now on this motherfucker. One Night Stand. He was on One Night Stand. <laughs> Jay Schwinger. Swing time, baby. <laughs> and he is taking on uh, Chavo Guerrero Jr. Johnny Swinger cuts a promo here and he says, Do you know who I am? <laughs> no. And no one no one reacts because no one knows who the fuck he is. So he just pretty much just tells the crowd that he's a pervert. So that's kind of cool. Um, nice. Yeah. Chavo comes out in a hard hat uh, and has some scissors in his hand too. I'm like, what the fuck is? I know Chavo was like crazy in WCW, but I don't know what's going on here. It turns out last week Eddie Guerrero cut Chavo's hair. He was trying to cover up his hair just here. a little bit. What that much? No, no, it was. It really like they definitely didn't do much with it at all, especially when you think that like it goes to a hair versus hair match that he loses. You think they would have just did yeah. a little more? <laughs> he just had like a bald spot, right? That was it. Just barely. I think that was the bald spot he had, I feel like was one he already had. <laughs> yeah, today was like, Zoom in on that. Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh so Chavo beats Johnny Swinger with that tornado DDT and then cuts a promo and he says, Johnny Swinger looks like you got some split ends. And I got some scissors, baby. And he cuts Swinger's hair. Barely. He barely yeah, muscle he trim, like cut off muscle like a trim little trim yeah, you get you can give him a rim job. Would you say a nice little trim? A nice little job. rim job. Oh a nice right, little so rim gives Swinger a rim <laughs> job. <laughs> Nitro <laughs> crazy. You guys Chavo should see these eating Nitros. Johnny Swinger's ass. He's like, your ass is looking kind of dirty there. <laughs> That's how Swinger got booked. Because they asked anybody want to take a rim job, and he's like, I will. I'm a Swinger. <laughs> like, All right, dude, your ass go. is looking kind of dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Nitro Shwing. was crazy back then, dude. This is the Shwing. biggest Nitro ever. Damn, they couldn't have time. They had time for this, but they, they couldn't arrest D. Malenko in time. <laughs> no. They had time for Chava to eat Johnny Swinger's <laughs> dirty ass. That's why he wore the hard hat. You know? <laughs> he had a job with the hard hat? 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn, bro, he's working safe. Swing well, that's why his name's Johnny Swinger, because he swings Daddy both ways. Swing guys. You know? The swing master. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and then after Chavo eats Johnny Swinger's ass, he challenges Eddie to a hair versus hair match. <laughs> that shit's crazy. I was watching the network edition. I don't know what Tony was watching. <laughs> what? I was watching that one that James gave that, uh, that other one. Oh, uh, oh, oh that 22,000 viewers on it. <laughs> <laughs> 17.live. Yeah, I was on it. Dickass.com. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dickass.com. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Wow, what a fucking Johnny Swinger. Thank you, Johnny Swinger. Oh, Shout we out to love the big you man. so much, Johnny <laughs> Swinger. Our, he is so definitely much. one of the boys. He's, he's a part he's of the guy. A deadlock. He's a, he's a hog dipper for sure. Oh, yeah, Johnny, man. let me he's... face you. <laughs> <laughs> Ever there. Fight me. <laughs> they, uh, then they show Goldberg's <sighs> 25th win, which was against Glacier. Glacier rule. <laughs> yeah, Glacier, Glacier kicks ass. Dude, Glacier's also, he did the cryotic kick, bro. Was yeah, awesome. that dude froze dudes with his breath. <laughs> yeah, that shit was, yeah, he was the Iceman. Fuck you, Dean Malenko. You didn't see Glacier go to freeze. jail. He had a fight for that. <laughs> yeah, he ain't arresting Glacier. The they fuck? should have a match, Iceman versus Iceman. Oh, shit, they should have did it in a cave. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> not hot. <laughs> it's not hot. <laughs> uh... Then we have Disco Inferno and Alex Wright with Tokyo Magnum, who is not they, with Tokyo Magnum. <laughs> they did Get not it, want Tokyo, Tokyo Magnum. Magnum. There. <laughs> He's <laughs> not my, with him. That's my guy. Well, he was technically with them, but he they didn't want him to be with them. They were known <laughs> was, as the Dancing Fools, by the way. Were Alex they Wright and Disco Inferno? I know his Disco Inferno as a bitch. Yeah, that's what I know him as. I think that's what <laughs> Professor Mike Denae said too. He started running down the stats. He said Disco is. Uh, five foot four, a big piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> and they take on the public enemy who don't like the, the shock- public enemy. Shockingly, the crowd was into waving their arms back and forth for the public enemy. I don't know if that was for them or they just like doing Dude, the it. The crowd loves like raising the roof, uh, yeah, waving the arms. So. They love doing all kinds of Dude, stuff. Dude, the one thing about, about disco, he had a disco ball in his entrance. It was yeah. him in a disco ball. That shit kind of ruled. That's cool. That was Alex sweet. Wright and uh. Disco Inferno are doing their dances in the ring, and then Tokyo Magnum comes up in between them and takes his pants off. That's my guy dancing. right there. <laughs> that shit ruled. This match sucked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Until the end, where Public Enemy stacked two tables on top of each other, put Tokyo Magnum on top of these two stacked tables, and then Rocco fucking Rock did a flip off the top rope through it. And cool. it was pretty scary. Flip. Yeah, for like... Who? What was this for? <laughs> they just did this. That's yeah. what they did. That's a public enemy. Yeah, like, uh, fucking, like, public enemy aren't even on the pay-per-view. <laughs> like, I don't even know if they're on the show after this. <laughs> you're probably, yeah, you're probably right. Conan yeah. uh, faces Disco Inferno on the pay-per-view, by the way. <laughs> oh, oh, great. So, yeah, that's that's where that leads to. A whole bunch of nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking about Conan or Conan 2000? Oh well, that I gotta you gotta watch the show to find oh, out. Oh, true. That's true. There That's you true. go. Um, then Mean Gene uh does a long fucking interview with Buff Bagwell on the stage, and his mom is there as well. Um, I have fucking nothing to say about this. He just wanted to shut the fuck up about how much he loves the fans, and he can't wait to be back, and he's glad he's not dead. Buff, you're cool. in the NWO, man. Yeah, really, man. He was about to cry. Yeah. What, what's going on here? Uh, my my favorite part of this was that. Buff was going on and on. He's like, you know that feeling when you're laying on your back and you never know if you'll see these great fans ever again? And me and me, Gene goes, what the fuck are you? You know you about die, right? <laughs> you could have been paralyzed. He says, he says, who's this great lady behind you? He says, I'm a mother. <laughs> he's a bad Gene was checking her out. He's like, hmm, who's this? Yeah, mm-hmm. He says, you know this car I got over here? It's an ass car. <laughs> <laughs> me and Gene's my favorite. Dude, me and Gene rules. Yeah. Um, He's pretty Buff Bagwell pretty much teasing that him and Scott Steiner need to go their separate ways, but I'm, I imagine it turns to a swerve. Usually does. That's how no, it is. I, I think they had broke up Steiner and Buff at one point. I don't remember what was going on. I don't really there. remember Buff as a face. I remember no, people cheering him, oh, but I don't I, remember I, him like I remember the story. Guy. So Buff comes back from neck injury, and he's all jacked to the gills, you know, because he was I working out, looking of good, and then Steiner apparently out. got jealous. 
is what happened. <laughs> oh, Steiner says, I'm Freakzilla. You can't be bigger than yeah, me. Yeah, and okay. Buff was like, I was bigger than Steiner at the time, and that's what he said. Yeah, no fucking and, chance. <laughs> yeah, not even close. In the Buff shoot interview, that's what he said. Uh, wait, what? In the Buff shoot interview? <laughs> <laughs> so he really thought that? There's no way. There's I cannot no, lie. I there's cannot no lie. year that you can find any proof that Buff Bagwell was an inch bigger than Scott Steiner. He said, yeah. I came back looking at Jack to the gills, and I was yeah. way bigger than Steiner, and Steiner got that jealous. Fucking, that bulldog must have did something to his fucking brain. Yeah, because <laughs> that ain't correct. <laughs> they then show Goldberg's 50th win against Rick Fuller. Who's Rick Fuller? That's a great question. Yep. <laughs> True. But before the, before this uh, little tidbit, they come back, oh. and Bobby the Brain Heenan goes, his mom is Judge Judy? Oh, I did hear that. <laughs> Like, oh, and no one corrected them. They just went, yeah. yeah they said, yes, yeah, okay, whatever. Brian. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. Right, uh, then we go on to a match that uh, if Goldberg wins, he faces Hogan for the world championship night. And I guess also the U.S. title was on the line. They didn't seem too sure about that one. Yeah, we got third hour pyro to kick this off before the no Goldberg. No spinny pyro. Not worth no. mentioning. Fuck them. <laughs> True. <laughs> Yeah, they, they, I Hall. think they do say, yeah. oh, I think this is U.S. title. I don't know. The ref held up the belt or something. Yeah, they're very <laughs> confused about if the title is on the line or not. It doesn't matter because you know Goldberg's going to fucking win anyway. And Scott Hall taking on Goldberg in a match where Scott Hall is drunk. <laughs> Whoa, I wouldn't say that. Oh, no? I, no, I, he I, was clear and sober, dude. I he was, was not. <laughs> First off, Scott Hall is not in the Wolfpack anymore. Still has Wolfpack everything on. <laughs> yeah, he's in Hollywood and he's still wearing the drippy. He red. just showed up with the wrong gear. He didn't know. You know why? Do you know why? <laughs> <laughs> he was just having a bad day. You know, his luggage got lost at the airport. Yeah, so yeah I wonder yeah. why. Dude, anything, anything that Goldberg does in this match, the crowd is losing their fucking mind. Goldberg they is off a, off a, uh, They popped off a, a lockup bump. Like they locked up yes. and Goldberg pushed them, and then they just went crazy. They, the crowd dude, lost it, dude. Goldberg could have shot snot rockets at the crowd, and they would have been like, "Ah, oh, yes, feed yeah, me more." Yeah, give him <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> them boogies. What the fuck, Goldberger? <laughs> <laughs> I also wrote down here, Scott Hall is very much shoot drunk. Still, yeah, he's something was going on here for sure. Because not only like, okay, so Scott Hall is laying in chops on Goldberg at one point, like just fucking dicing him up yeah. with him. Then Goldberg goes to Irish whip Scott Hall, and Scott Hall almost, like, trips and breaks his neck on the rope. <laughs> and, Go and looked, like, Goldberg was like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, what is happening right there? How did you how then, did you not get Irish whip? Like, what the hell? Yeah, like, I don't know what was going on there. Then they kind of, like, look at each other, like, <laughs> it's weird. And then Goldberg power slams Scott Hall, and almost, it's like, Scott Hall almost dies on the landing. It's very sketch. And then Goldberg like, uh, just completely sandbags Scott Hall. Scott Hall yeah, goes for a body much. slam and Goldberg's like, eh, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Scott Hall also, Scott Hall spits in Goldberg's face and then immediately goes for a collar and elbow. <laughs> <laughs> that rules. That's actually <laughs> awesome. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> That's actually awesome. Uh, so, uh, oh, the uh, end of, members of the NWO, uh, try to come out and interfere. Carl Malone and DDP attacked them with chairs. It looked like they hit them pretty high with those fucking chairs in the back of the head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they look pretty rough. Uh, then Goldberg spears Scott Hall hits him with a jackhammer. Crowd is fucking about to riot. How much they're into this shit? They are losing their fucking mind. They love it. Goldberg advances on to later tonight, where he will face Hollywood Hogan for the title. My God, the finish here is actually really good. It's a shame that <laughs> yeah, you know, especially for how over they were. I mean, it's crazy that they were still able to put together something, seeing that it was a. Uh, <laughs> fighting fucking uphill <laughs> battle here yeah but uh yeah the finish was good the, the nwf false run-in stopped by deeping they blew up the yeah. crowd loved it like that was a really good yeah they were they it, were super into that it, it really like fed that finish really hard and and mike Tanay yeah. and them were going crazy for that finish too they're like i smelled a jackhammer <laughs> like, oh my God. yeah they kept talking about smelling it like, he said i smell hollywood hogan too and then yeah i can't remember who said it but he was like yeah you get close to him you smell him too <laughs> <laughs> that was probably he and it, honestly. Yeah, probably. <laughs> and then we go on to um, this is probably my favorite match of the show. Um, it was a quick little sprint, but it was they did what they needed to do, and it was fun. Psychoses 
taking on Juventud Guerrera, the juicy, juicy, juicy <laughs> yeah, fucking the guy. Juice. <laughs> it was before the juice, though, right? Before the mask. No, he more. was the juice here. Yeah, he, he had, and he had it on his back of his pants too. He had juice on his ass, and there was like like juice spray coming off the text. <laughs> I just think full juice when he takes the mask off, though. He didn't have a mask on here. He didn't have a mask on here. Did he not? I can't remember. No, you're yeah. mixing him up with psychoses. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Who would saw do that without the mask, too, I forgot. Juice. Yes, 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 yes. So, uh, yeah, this match was fun. Hoovy does a top rope fucking Rana that looked kind of sick. He then, like, does a, the Undertaker dive and almost kills himself, and Bobby <laughs> Heenan immediately says, why? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did. So that's a good question, actually. <laughs> Which I, was, I, you know what? you true. <laughs> That's such a Jim Ross thing. Why? Why? Would you yeah, I feel. That? I feel like maybe Jim tries to be him actually on AEW, but it doesn't come off as. I think Jr. hates AEW. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> I don't. I think Heenan at least like. Well, There's like nothing WCW. else to say about it. He just hates it. Yeah, I think. I don't think. JR I don't know. Is Sometimes I feel like he tries to be Heenan a little bit, and then just. Sure, I could see that. Yeah, I mean. He but might it comes off as just bitter cause... more. Heenan was like, yeah. I don't know. He's not he's funny, different. though. That's the thing. Yeah, Heenan yeah. was fucking hilarious. Heenan was yeah. great, yeah. Uh, Psychosis uh, does a slingshot to Hoovy over the top. That was kind of cool. Then Psychosis does a top rope senton to the floor. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Why? <Yeah. laughs> Hoovy uh, hits the Hoovy driver, and then here comes the flock. I wasn't sure why the flock came out here. I must have missed something here. I don't know why they were getting involved. Is it just because of Kidman or something here or what? But, Maybe. To be honest with you, I don't really know either. Yeah, I had no fucking idea. Um, but yeah, the flock uh, comes out and uh, they don't... Do, well, they don't do much because Hoovy hits the 450 and wins the match. <laughs> and then the flock jump Hoovy and then jump Psychosis and it immediately cuts away and you never mention it again. <laughs> well, Hoovy, it's Hoovy and Kidman at the pay-per-view, so maybe that's what they were trying to get over. Oh, is it Hoovy and Kidman at the pay-per-view? Yeah, so okay, maybe Okay, well then that makes but they, sense. But they do a terrible job like explaining or setting this up or anything. Yeah. We're out of time! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we gotta go to the next segment. <laughs> We're out of time for this uh, shitty segment. <laughs> so yeah, we, they they um, like they barely even let the flock do much before they cut away to show Goldberg's seventy fifth win over Raven. <laughs> 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 like, okay, cool, thank you. So yeah, Goldberg beat Raven one time. That was fun. Uh, Hogan and more Hogan and Rodman versus DDP and Malone hype for the pay per view, and then we go to Ho Hacksaw Jim Duggan taking on the Giant, who's looking fucking great here. He does look fantastic here. I don't know why he is not world champion for seven years at this point. Like, just this dude looks sick. Yeah. Uh, Jim Duggan is still Jim Duggan. Yeah, something's wrong with that dude. <laughs> be honest, yeah, there's, there's something there's, right here. Something is going on with that. He's, he's Amer- uh, maybe, I mean, maybe he's just American, and that's just what an American is. Whatever. I don't know. He's Jim a big Duggan. dude, though. He is a big fucking guy. He fucking clotheslines fucking giant and knocks him over with it. It was awesome. Yeah. And then he goes, Daxon <laughs> goes for the old glory knee drop, and Giant reverses it by sticking his fist out and punching him in the face <laughs> <laughs> while he's laying down. <laughs> That's a good spot. And then Giant takes the straps down, and he goes for the choke slam, and Jim Duggan didn't feel like taking it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> He sandbagged the fuck out of him. He he made the giant work for this yeah. choke slam, and he killed him with it after. No, he gave it to him. Uh, yeah, he hit it. Uh, giant then cuts a promo with the laser pointer being shot in his face, <laughs> and he's talking about Kevin Green. And here comes Kenny Omega instead. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be a son uh, of a bitch. Oh, what's going on here? Kenny Omega in his white shorts. <laughs> <laughs> so here, Kevin Green comes out. Kevin Green's like, like a fucking football dude or something. Yeah. Or yeah. something. I don't that know. That is his deal. I don't know no, shit about is. shit. Okay. WCW he, loved the football back then. Yeah, I guess so. Shout out to Mongo. Uh, <laughs> Yo, so, Mongo and Pepe McMichael. <laughs> I can't wait to watch the episode where we get to see Pepe McMichael. God, dude. Pepe, shout out to Pepe. Right Pepe there, McMichael forever. Yeah, we definitely... Yeah, we'll... Yeah, Pepe is going to be on the show. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> Pepe. Yeah. Uh, so Kevin Green comes out, he spits in the giant's face, and then clotheslines him over the top, and giant runs away. <laughs> Bye-bye. Okay, cool. I guess giant and Kevin Green have a match at the pay-per-view, too? Kevin Green. Well, you think? Yeah, yeah, they do, actually. Okay, great. I'm sure that was fantastic. Yeah. 
they go seven minutes, Giant and Kevin Green at the pay review. Pretty it's good. probably one of those lockup things where they do the test of strength thing for like an hour. Oh, yeah, then, you're you probably know, right. <laughs> Uh, then we cut to Jim Neidhart versus DDP, and DDP wins with a diamond cutter. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it was. There's nothing more to this fucking match. Yeah, well, yeah, I was like, wait, Neidhart was in WCW? I forgot about that. Yeah, he was. He it was. Uh, he left because of the screw job, and then he went to WCW, and you know, and they got the screw as, job. So. Such is life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then we see Goldberg's 100th win over Conan, not Conan 2000. I'm Damn. sorry. <laughs> They're all in one, I see. Yeah. And then uh, here come the Wolfpack. Wolfpack in the house, Tony. You a Wolfpack, Wolfpack guy? Wolfpack in the house. Hell yeah, I love Hell Wolfpack. Yeah, man. Coming out you... together like a gang, dude. Yeah. All of them. <laughs> Sting, during the entrance, is saying the bowdy, bowdy, rowdy, <laughs> rowdy. Oh, <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. I love when they're Sting throwing up the W, down. the Wolfpack yeah. W. Well, yeah, Nash, says, says, Nash throws up gangs on. He says, what's <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nash had a lot of fun with this. He had a lot of fun with this. <laughs> Uh, they get in the ring. Nash does his promo, saying Wolf back in the house. Then uh, Sting and Luger beat Kidman and Sick Boy in record time. <laughs> <laughs> you barely even know that Kidman and Sick Boy were in the match. Cause it's that like was thirty. It. It's like thirty seconds, right? It's yeah, real, it's, it's, it's real it's, short. They, there is no reason to even have it on the show. Kidman, like, who has a match at the pay per view, gets his ass whooped. <laughs> Who, he just led a beatdown on two cruiserweights like two <laughs> matches ago. <laughs> they just get his ass whooped. Yeah, well, it's time to cruiserweight. <laughs> <laughs> and then the match everyone in this building has been waiting for because you could tell the fucking volume got turned up by three fucking hundred when this yep. started. Yeah, Goldberg. Hometown hero. WCW hero. Undefeated. 107 and fucking zero. Or whatever it was. Against... WCW world champion, leader of the NWO Hollywood, Hulk Hogan. Uh, Hogan making his entrance, and he says, I'm going to kick Goldberg's butt. He does Ho- say butt. Hogan is literally the most uncool guy ever. <laughs> How the fuck did this guy change the business twice? I don't know, man. I I really don't. I'm going to kick Goldberg. Sense. He waits. He's like, should I say ass? Should I say ass? I think I'm going to go with butt. I'm going to kick Goldberg's butt. Okay. Yeah. Dude, Goldberg's entrance is so crazy here. Just the crowd's losing it. He's like all fucking. He's not like he's not as hyped up as I thought he was gonna be. But go. I guess maybe it's because Goldberg is always like at a hundred percent, like yeah. fired up. Maybe it's because so he already wrestled to once too. You know? That too. Yeah, dude. Goldberg's entrance is all, is all time. Or the fucking him breathing in the smoke and like a dragon shooting that shit out. Shit. Dude, he's covered in the pyro, you can't even see anything. But his how boots? does that not like suck to stand in? Yeah, I don't know. That is weird. I think he doused I, himself in water, he said, or something like that, so then, like, it didn't hurt. Oh, him. okay, yeah. There's probably smart. some technique for it, too, That's you know? a smart, bald bastard, that is, Goldberg. Yeah. <laughs> I thought the cop entrance rules. Oh, yeah. Coming out the it, back. It, it, he didn't use it, like, yeah. all the time, which kind of yeah. made it kind of cool. I'm pretty sure, I feel like the crowd is standing for this whole fucking match. Like, I, everyone is just on their feet, 40,000 fucking people fired up to see Goldberg finally do it. And finally take down Hulk Hogan. Hogan is whipping Goldberg with his weight belt. Uh, Goldberg fucking throws that shit away. He says, get that shit out of here, bitch. <laughs> Dude, at the very beginning Hogan. of the match, they did a really dope spot. They uh, Goldberg like went to just bounce off the ropes to like warm up. And Hogan like ducked out of the way like he was about to get speared or something off the ropes. <laughs> yeah. I was like, Dude, that actually kind of kicked ass. That's pretty smart. Yeah, that is good. Um, this match is really just... Goldberg being Goldberg and Hogan being a piece of trash. <laughs> yeah, dude, Pretty Hogan much. sucks. They did the fucking warrior power struggle spot. I said, why <laughs> did you do this? Yeah, I know. Hogan low blows him too. Like he's he's doing all like the dirty heel tactics that he can to try to fuck with Goldberg. Um, it's just every Hulk Hogan match ever. It's just like man. They also so Hogan is like Goldberg's down in the ring. They they show Kern Henning coming out. They cut to the ring. Hogan is has done like three leg drops to Goldberg at this point. They cut back to Hennig as Hogan is pinning Goldberg after hitting all these leg drops. And I'm pretty sure he kicked out while it wasn't looking at him. This big <laughs> fucking spot it was supposed to be. Hogan's flipping out because he kicked out. And like the commentators aren't talking about it. I don't know what happened. Mike Tanay is the only one that referenced. He said, he just kicked out the leg drop. Well, yeah, we, did, we didn't uh, see it. I said, shut up, bitch. <laughs> yeah, we didn't, we didn't see it. We don't know that. We don't know what just happened. 
All yeah, we know we is that Kurt Henning is here. I was like, oh, that's watch great. Watch the monitor. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. Uh, DDP and Carl Malone come out, and fucking Carl Malone hits the diamond cutter on Kurt Henning. And then Spear to Hogan. Jack Hammer. He says, oh, <laughs> what is it? He says, uh, he says, watch, watch. When he picks them up, they're going to go crazy. <laughs> yeah, that is. Yeah, it was Heenan. They goddamn do. You are right. He was the Heenan. he was the person in this match. He was. Yeah. The, was... Uh, and the Goldberg finger flip when he goes to the Jack Hammer is God, iconic. God, that's so sick. Goldberg, <laughs> he, he takes all that in, though, man. He, uh, he hits yeah. that finger flip and then. He waits for it. He's like, he's looking around. He's he's making sure he sees yeah. everybody's face in the crowd. And like, yeah. they blew up. Yeah. He fucking hits him with a jackhammer. One, two, three. Goldberg wins the WCW World Championship in his hometown. Fucking record setting crowd. This is like crazy. Like, even though the match, is, it's not, you know, not, the match isn't nothing to write home about, but just the atmosphere and the scene right. of this fucking moment. It's an absolute moment. Like, it's an all timer moment. Like it's this is crazy. one of those few times where WCW did the babyface right. They never yeah. ever like that Sting thing where they messed up the fast oh my count. God. And the, yeah, Jesus, it's not supposed to happen. It's gonna happen. And oh, then yeah. Hogan the redo. Hogan. This was the first yeah. time I think they ever got it right. Where like we're just gonna do it. He's just gonna win and then let the babyface over. And they did yep. it perfectly here. It was. It- it was fucking awesome. Dude, it was cool. He picked him up for the jackhammer and like shits flying in the ring, like drinks. Dude, and like, just going it's, crazy. I've never seen happy littering. <laughs> yeah, someone throws a roll of toilet paper in the ring. Yeah, dude, like people there. are excitedly throwing. I've never yeah. seen that before. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah, the Goldberg's got the U.S. title and the world title. He picks it up and he looks at the camera and he goes, "Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Oh, what man. a moment, man!" I bet he rode that high forever. God, yeah, they uh. They probably didn't have to do this, but I'm pretty sure for the fast, last five minutes of the show, they dubbed in the Goldberg chants. Oh, <laughs> uh, probably, they, yeah. They cut to the crowd at one point, and not a single person is even moving their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Goldberg goes to the stage, a lot of pyro for the new double champion, Bill Goldberg, 1998, the fucking guy. WCW did something right. Yeah, they did, uh, which is, I mean, honestly, they did this all the time, like, that would have been even better. But as yeah. Eric Bischoff said, maybe I should have thought about the endings of matches more. <laughs> yeah, probably. Probably. Like, yeah. I, did they need Carl Malone to diamond cutter Kernanic gear? <laughs> like, yeah, probably what not. Was that even? I feel like a lot of this match, I feel like if Hogan didn't have creative control over this, I feel like it probably would have been even more one-sided. I feel like Hogan would have just went in there they would have. He would have hit the spear, hit the jackhammer, and they would have went home. But I feel like that Hogan was like, sick, "All right, dude. I have an idea. What if we do the Warrior Power Struggle Spot?" <laughs> and what if? <laughs> yeah, I feel like there's just a I lot. I can of, show that I can stand with Goldberg just yeah, in case. Just in case I gotta come back, you know, next week. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, that's just how it is. Yeah. There you go. So then at the pay per view, we had Kurt Henning, Henning versus Goldberg for the title. For the world title. Yeah, because Henning oh, was involved in this match, and then we okay. had the Hogan Rodman Dennis. Or the yeah, oh, Rodzilla yeah. DDP Malone thing, and okay, then uh, yeah. Goldberg went on to hold the title until Starcade, where he lost to Nash with the taser. <laughs> the yeah, was taser. Star- was that Starcade of that year? Yeah, that was in December of this year. Yeah, that's a pretty decent run, but the shitty ending to it. It's well, when you look at it, it's not that good of a run because uh, after this, he had Road Wild, where he won the. NWO Invitational Battle Royal. I watched. I honestly just watched that recently. Yeah, and then well, I guess he eliminated a bunch of people, probably. Yeah. So that's well, because cool. it was Wolfpack and NWO like still fighting each other too. Mm-hmm. Then uh, you had War Games at Fall Brawl, Team WCW versus Team NWO. Yeah. Goldberg was involved in that, I believe. Right? Yeah. The Fall probably. Brawl. I like the WCW <laughs> pay per view. That's a cool name. Yeah. Yeah, I like. And then those. Halloween Havoc. He. Fought DDP, which was a sweet match, but it never got aired because it cut. Oh yeah, his reign did get neutered a little bit, didn't it? You're right. Yeah. Then World War Three, he wasn't even on. (laughs) Was he hurt? I don't know. He just wasn't on that show. And then, or was he? Oh, the there was a main event was the winner would fight for the WCW. Like it was Kevin Nash won a. Thing of uh, World so War setting III up match. for the world title match, yeah, yeah, and then that was it. So that was Goldberg's run. That you know what you're right. That doesn't sound that good. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds kind of brutal, actually. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. There you go, Goldberg. Thank you, sir. 
Thank you, The Goldberg. biggest nitro of all time <laughs> ever in the history of our sport, The Greatest Night with Shout Johnny Swinger. Johnny Swinger. Johnny Swinger. Job. <laughs> 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 that <really is. laughs> I forgot about the rim job thing. <laughs>